So time to remove the waste and overflow. Of course, things back in the 80s, a lot of slot screws. Wow. Nothing wants to come off easier. We broke the screw instead of removed it. Same effect. Now the reason we have to remove the waste and overflow is because this plumbing, if we just yank the tub out without disconnecting it, we're putting a lot of pressure on the drain system. And we might cause a break somewhere that's going to increase the amount of work that we have to do. So, although it may seem like a lot of work now, why not just take a hammer to it like on TV? There's a good reason not to. Every drain has got a cross inside the drain. And it's designed so that you can put in, you know, uh, it's got threaded here, you can put in your, your stopper or plunger. But this is a tub removal system. And you can buy these at the hardware store. You basically put your screw through the hole and it gives you lots of torque. You can unthread it. Or, if you just got a couple of good sized screwdrivers, you can put them in, cross the bars, and you get the torque. And you can do it this way. Now, if it's old, you'll find that using two screwdrivers in a lot of cases is just going to create a problem for you because you'll end up breaking the little metal bars. So this system here is really quick and effective. 